Well, the two of the dancers who filed that lawsuit, Crystal Williams and Noel Rodriguez, join me now from Los Angeles. Ladies, thank you so much for coming on to Sky News to talk about uh, this. Uh, this is the first time uh, you've spoken to a UK audience since Lizzo put out a public statement. She had herself admit she wouldn't normally respond, uh, but she felt she had to in this case. Um, I've just reminded you of it. I'm sure you know it word for word. Crystal, your reaction to Lizzo's response? Um, I just want to, for one, address one of the claims that she made um, in her statement. Um, she mentioned that, you know, we admitted that we were told that we were being unprofessional and that our behavior was inappropriate. Um, I just want to first clarify the fact that these statements that were made were not addressed to the three of us individually, but to the entire dance cast as a collective. So it was not a not like we were singled out or told those directly. Um, and then in addition to that, I also want to add context to where those claims came from because none of those were even brought up until the dancers as a collective, um, we asked for a retainer, which is, you know, basically being paid during uh, like breaks and things of that nature. And this was, uh, directed to her management team. And then from there, we kind of started to see the hostile work environment in regards to retaliation and them calling us unprofessional and saying that our behavior was inappropriate. And me personally, when I was being let go, I was told that I didn't have the best attitude at times and that I came across as snarky after, of course, once again, speaking up and advocating for myself. So it's just, her statement is just, um, uh, just confirming the pattern of every time somebody speaks up or advocate for themselves like we're doing now, we get victim blamed, we get gaslighted, and she likes to point the finger instead of addressing the issues that are being brought up. And I would just like to make it really apparent because I think it's something that people don't understand. Not everyone was terminated. I voluntarily left on my own terms and I was never told that I was unprofessional. If anything, management would pull me aside and make it known, this doesn't apply to you, Noel, you're nothing but professional. And it only made me think, you know, why, why am I being singled out in this way in comparison to my black female counterparts that are on this team with me? It was very strange. Yeah, uh, Noel, I, I... I, looking at, you know, the list of allegations there that are forming part of this lawsuit, um, we've talked about uh, sexual harassment, and there's also religious harassment, racial harassment, disability discrimination, uh, interference with prospective economic advantage, assault and false imprisonment. It's quite the list of allegations you make. Now, I just wonder if you want to respond to the first part of Lizzo's statement, because it's the first bit she says. She says these are sensationalised stories. They're coming from former employees who have already publicly admitted that they were told their behaviour on tour was inappropriate and unprofessional. Mm -hmm. So I think, I think why it may seem sensationalised or just outrageous, well, one, is because it is outrageous. <laughs> it, we, we were shocked by all of these things that happened to us. And also, I think it kind of comes as a shock to the public or people that are just hearing about these things because although, unfortunately, this treatment by management, artists, you know, it's, it's normal in the entertainment industry, but it sounds so outrageous because I feel this is the first time something like this is being brought to light so publicly. So yes, it's outrageous. Yes, all of these claims seem just outlandish, but these, these are our experiences and this really happened to us. So to just kind of deny and victim blame and not even take accountability for, I'm sorry if this is even the way I might have made you feel, or I created a work environment and put people in leadership positions to make you feel this way, you know, that it's just so insensitive and it kind of invalidates our our experience as a whole. And and these things, you know, we have proof of these things happening to us t time and time again. So I, everything has been documented over time. So I just, yeah, so over sensationalized is just, wow. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Crystal, it did shock the public because, you know, this is a singer who is very open about her own issues with um, body positivity. She promotes, you know, um, you know, bigger women. She's all about empowering women. And I think that's why it came as a shock to the public. And, and from what Noelle was saying, this isn't particular, this treatment to Lizzo and her tour company. This goes on in the main in the industry. Have you had other experiences like this? And is this the start of a movement? You know, uh, we've seen the writers go out on strike, for instance, in Hollywood. We've seen the Me Too movement. Do you think this is the start of something bigger? 
Oh, absolutely. Just like what Noel was saying, this is, it, it, it's shocking because this is the first time that it's been put put out on Front Street for everybody to see, but this is something that happens on the every on the everyday basis, sadly. Um, we've already experienced not only dancers that have worked with her directly, but dancers that are just in the enterta entertainment industry in general, they've already come out and they've shared their stories. They feel brave enough to share their experiences. And so that within itself to me is already starting starting a movement because before people were just silent about it. They didn't feel comfortable enough. They didn't feel protected enough to call these artists out, to call these management teams out and let them know, hey, what you're doing is wrong. And Noel, there are going to be people that are saying, why are you doing this? Why have you gone public? Why have you gone down the legal route? Did you go to Lizzo directly at the time? Did you go to her afterwards? Because it's not just Lizzo, it's her production company and the woman who is in charge of the dancers, mm -hmm. if you like. What action did you take at the time? Because some people will be looking at you ladies and, you know, they will not take this at face value. They will say, you know, you're either in it for a bit of notoriety, in it for some money. What would you say to that? Well, we, you know, we did try to settle this in-house at, at certain points. I mean, sh before she was let go, she tried to have a conversation with Lizzo herself about, you know, what the reasons were behind it because she wasn't told that she was unprofessional and inappropriate at the time. She was told that it was due to budget cuts. So she was confused. Um, Ariana also tried to talk with her and we had, you know, the, the moment in which she was let go, we had a whole meeting to talk about why Ariana was being let go. In that same meeting, it, when I resigned, I brought up the reasons why I felt, you know, disrespected, uh, unsafe, retaliated against, you know, and instead of talking about it and having the respect that she thinks women deserve, she then got physical with me. So it's like every time we're bringing something up in person and try to settle this in-house, it's just like met with a rebuttal or retaliation as Liz, as um, Crystal was saying earlier. Yeah. So, you know, I think our biggest reason in coming forward with this is to just kind of give people a voice and to let them know that you can stand up for yourself and you can speak out no matter, you know, the caliber of artists or status that the person may have that you're speaking out against. And also, you know, we have, we are W-2 paid employees. We are on payroll. There are, um, you know, different rules that apply to us in, in that instance. So, you know, we shouldn't, it shouldn't be such a big ask to feel protected in our workspace because the dance industry is our, this is our job. This is not just a hobby. This is our job. This is our career. I completely so, you understand. Know, have, I've, I've, I've only got time for one more question. Uh, Crystal, just mm -hmm. a quick one. I've only got 30 seconds. You know, mm -hmm. the singer Grimes has come out and given a statement of support to Lizzo saying, look, this is someone that checks in um, when she doesn't need to, almost inferring that, you know, how could, how could Lizzo behave like this? What would your message be in reaction to that? And perhaps your message to Lizzo be today? Um, I mean, it, it kind of doesn't really hold any merit to me just for the simple fact that these are two celebrities that have interacted with each other in the public. Um, and you know, it's really sad. I think it just kind of shines light on the fact that as dancers, we're seen as not import as important or not as valued. Um, you know, I wish that we could say the same thing in our, in our interactions with her, but sadly that's not the case. It's only whenever it's put on front street or put in front of people that are just as powerful as her or people that just, you know, that have the same, you know, status as her. So it doesn't really hold any merit to me. OK, Crystal Williams and Noel Rodriguez, who, along with uh, another former dancer, Ariana Davis, are taking legal action against Lizzo. Uh, thank you so much for your time, ladies. We really appreciate it here on Sky News. Let's just remind you of the statement that Lizzo released in the face of those allegations. Uh, she said, usually I choose not to respond, but these are unbelievable and they sound... Uh, as outrageous uh, as they do, they are too outrageous not to be addressed. The singer goes on to say these are sensationalized stories that are coming from former employees who have already publicly admitted that they were told their behavior on tour was inappropriate and unprofessional. There is nothing I take more seriously than the respect we deserve as women in the world. I know what it feels like to be body shamed on a daily basis and would absolutely never criticize or terminate an employee because of their weight.